you know, I've always wanted to be in the beverage industry. I can't wait to make this ad and show it to Burton. Your whole world revolves around pleasing Burton. That's not true. A couple of Cokes? We have Pepsi. They just have Pepsi. She said it like we wanted Pepsi. Pepsi? Yeah, we can use that when we're promoting Coke. I think we're kind of butting our head against the wall. Is Pepsi okay? I want to say it doesn't make a big difference, but I don't want to lie to myself. You're right. Let's try another place. And also, have you seen the men's room? Miss? Miss? Hey, Leo, why don't we ask for Pepsis? Because I, I... You know I love your fun side, but do me a favor. Reel it in. This is serious business. Ma'am, two Cokes, please. Sorry, I was trying to enjoy myself. No, 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 it's not that. It's just that we're here to do work, and let's leave the ego at the door. Hey, thanks, Katie. Should I just go in and... Yeah, come on in. Hey. Luke, I'm guessing. Yes. I apologize for this tight space we're working in. Should I Should I sit on the on the bed or right next, right here in, in by you? Luke, I'm guessing you have hundreds of questions about the explosion bus. Yeah. You don't have to hold back. Katie tells me that you do comedy in front of a live audience. Sure. So I, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to let you do some of your material. Should I sit to the side and face you? I think if you're comfortable, just pretend I'm not here. Great. So I followed my girlfriend here. We met on eHarmony. She is absolutely fantastic. She sends funniest emails and text messages. Frankly, I can't wait to meet her in person. I quit my job in corporate America recently. And I've had a lot of time to think about things like, why did I quit my job? One of the reasons I didn't make it so well in corporate America was because I didn't do so well with all these things people say, like, hey, we'll reach out, touch base. I thought these people were making these things up. So I decided to go ahead and make up a few of my own. Mike, uh, are we still humping the goose on that Williams account? Hey, Luke, I'm going to step out of the room, but you keep going. This stuff is great. But isn't I, the point of the audition, I thought... Was, so just... Uh, it would really mean so much more to me if you were in the room. Okay, I'll stay. Obviously, uh, it's about about you. Now I feel like you're staying because I asked you to stay. I am. Well, this is going to be tough to... No, nope, just do the comedy, please. I was from New York before this, and... New York is a funny place. and For me, the weird thing about New York was I did a benefit at the United Nations, and I met Boutrous Boutrous Golly and his wife Beatrice Boutrous. I had the couscous. Jonathan, clearly you're a more seasoned comedian. Well, thank you. You know, well, you don't, thank you so much. Than I, than I am. I, yeah, but I, I really, if we could, I'd love to finish. I got a little off track, you know. A couple weeks ago, I was at a dinner, and uh, it took two and a half hours for our meal to arrive. I actually ate a Mandarin orange, and learned the Mandarin language in the time it took for our meal to arrive. This is tr- uh, Look, this may seem petty, but it wouldn't it take a lot more than two and a half hours to learn Mandarin? Yeah, John, it, it would. That was... You want to maintain a certain plausibility on stage. Your material is so strong, and um, I hope you don't mind if you just let yourself out. That and, sounds great. Uh, I just... Um, I wonder, is Katie seeing anyone? Do you know? I certainly don't want to embarrass you, but at this point, Katie is quite interested in me. How is your relationship with Katie going now, would you say? It's, it's kind of like, you ever see the movie Avatar? Uh, I've not, actually, but I know. What's the movie you have seen recently? Uh, My Cousin Vinny? Yeah, it's like that. John, I was up all night. I had kind of a, an epiphany. Our near-death experience has made a new man out of me. When you say our near-death experience, yes. are you talking about the night that we pretended to be dead? Yes. Well... You know, John, I looked at my watch while we were pretending to be dead. When you looked at your watch, what time was it? That's not the point. When you die, your watch stops. Really? That's just a well-known medical fact. John, I'm chuckling because it's hard for people who haven't been there to understand what I'm trying to say. When you meet the creator face-to-face... Of the universe? It does something to you. Yeah. Can I describe what you looked like? I saw your spirit leave your body. I think... I've seen a lot of things leave your body, but nothing like this. I'm just not buying it, Leo. Well, then why don't you burn in hell then, John? What just happened to me? You pretended to be speaking in tongues. Oh, God, I gotta gotta go lay down. Yeah, you are laying down. Now you're making some sense. Oh, I'm late for church. Church. Come with me, John. If the concern of your bus was family entertainment, maybe you'd like to comment on this police radio transmission from three years ago. 
we are seeing unusual, potentially disruptive, or I guess you would call it cult behavior. You know, we don't use the word cult anymore. The explosion bus is painted on the left side. Explosion bus has become a cult favorite, and it's not just one cult, it's all the cults. Would you prefer the word religion? Is that what your bus was becoming? A religion? I myself have many questions about religion. Really? Let me give you an example. Why do they refer to Mary as such a saint in the Bible? It says very explicitly that Mary rode Joseph's ass all the way to Bethlehem. <laughs> you have no right to say such a thing. You're right. That joke is the property of the late Ronnie Shakes, a fabulous comedian. M Mr. Gold? You know, a friend of mine, and this this is so typical of a guy, he, he found Christ and misplaced him like 20 minutes later. <laughs> Oh. My, my own rabbi told me that he was having an affair. And I said, Rabbi, what about the Ten Commandments? And he said, John, nothing is carved in stone. Ah. Ah. Hi, my name is Emma. And for my explosion bus audition, I'm going to go to sleep. I, I get it. Woo! -y! Yeah! This is really depressing. She's just fallen on hard times, let's say that. Do I shout, are those real, or is that real? It depends on where you're pointing. <laughs>